Hello everyone, this is Enipokezone, and welcome back to another video. Episode 122 just aired, and before we start our summary and review, I will say this episode was incredibly underwhelming and a bit of a letdown. The first half of this episode was essentially just filler between Ash, Go and Cynthia, and two kids that they run into. The main parts here is that we get a flashback of young Cynthia holding the gibble egg, and nurturing and reading to it until it had eventually hatched. This reminds Ash of how him and Lucario first started out, with his Rialu egg. Ash begins discussing the bond he has with Lucario. After all this wrapped up, we abruptly cut to the Leon and Diantha battle which had already began, and we have Diantha's Gudra facing Leon's Rillaboom where we see Rillaboom one-shot Gudra. We then learn that Leon is only down one Pokemon, and Diantha is already down to her very last in Gardevoir. We also learn that Leon's first Pokemon Dragapult defeated Diantha's Horlucha, and in return Diantha's Tyrantrum defeated Dragapult. But, it's important to note that in the shots we got of the Dragapult battles, we see him getting physically punched by Horlucha, and getting what looks like a Hyper Beam to the back by Tyrantrum. Dragapult is a Ghost-type Pokemon. It looks like it is getting hit by fighting and normal type attacks. Ghosts can't get hit by that. That doesn't make sense, which adds to the disappointment of the episode in general. But, it shows Leon's Rillaboom going on to beating Tyrantrum, Aurorus, Gorgeist and Gudra. Now don't forget, this is the same Rillaboom that Alan's Charizard has basically one shot in the first match. But, I'll talk more about that later. Gardevoir comes out and makes quick work of Rillaboom. So Leon goes ahead and sends out Charizard, and Gardevoir immediately Mega evolves. Leon then Gigantamaxes his Charizard, so we have our first Mega vs G-Max battle of the Masters 8. They have a good back and forth, with Thunderbolt, G-Max Wildfire, Psychic, and another G-Max Wildfire, but ultimately, Gardevoir gets knocked out with relative ease. So, there you have it. Leon defeated Diantha by just losing two Pokemon in Rillaboom and Dragapult. Like I said at the beginning, this episode was very underwhelming. The three versus three battles we had in the first round lasted longer than this. At least each battle was essentially given its own episode. This full six on six battle was given half an episode, and one side was completely decimated for no reason. How on earth will Rillaboom take out four Pokemon? when Alan's Mega Charizard was able to take it out in one hit. We saw it take a Fire Blast directly, not to mention that it had probably already been hurt a bit from the other three Pokemon it had knocked out. Also, I'm not sure if they are trying to just show how powerful Leon is, and then in turn show how strong Ash is when they battle, but, some of these battles, especially the ones that involve Leon, have felt very rushed. Episodes like these I feel messes with the power scaling of Pokemon in a negative way. It's hard to judge how strong any of these trainers are when their comparisons are just how well they do against Leon. Also, why were we given half an episode of filler essentially of some random little girl going missing in the woods during the middle of the Masters 8 tournament? and even in the middle of a Masters 8 match. This is beyond anything. This is as bad as how the Unova League had a random Iris's Akzu going missing filler for no reason. This was totally unnecessary and took away from the greatness that could have been a full 6-on-6 six six battle with non-main characters, where this is no potential plot horse in the race. On the bright side of things, we know that Ash and Cynthia are coming up next week which will start a three-episode arc revolving around their battle, so, that is something I am very excited about. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode in the comment section down below. Again, I found it to be very underwhelming and disappointing, and I wish they had given Diantha and Leon the courtesy of having their own whole episode to battle. We knew that it would be an overwhelming victory for Leon based on the episode title, but, this much overwhelming. That is a bit disrespectful, but I hope you all enjoyed the video and my thoughts. If you are a fan of the channel and fan of the anime, please leave a like on this video and hit that sub button with notifications on. I hope to be uploading much more frequently in the coming weeks. Thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.